So Christians sometimes think that if you would understand everything about the stars and somehow God has been pulled out of it, um, because we should find God in the kind of gaps of our knowledge. So, so God is there, and you know, if, we, if we can't explain the black hole, then that must be God. Right? What do you think of that kind of thinking? I think that's a bit of a dangerous way to think, okay. because the idea that God can belong in the gaps in our knowledge and not, you know, anywhere else. I mean, who are we to presume such a thing? Yeah. If God is God, then um, it seems to me that it would be quite wrong for us to say, God may belong here, but he may not belong here. Mm. I think it's particularly dangerous because our scientific knowledge, our scientific understanding is increasing and advancing the whole time. Sometimes by serendipity, as is often the case in astronomy, sometimes by sheer hard work, which characterises a lot of science, of course. But our scientific knowledge is advancing. Those gaps of ignorance are decreasing. Sometimes we realise there's yet more we don't understand, but I think that's very dangerous thinking indeed. So what should we think about instead? So you look at the stars, or you look at your microquasars, and you understand something more about them. Do you think that glorifies God to learn more about these things? To me, absolutely yes. To me, I believe that all truth is God's truth. I don't think that there's some uh, artificial division between uh, what belongs to science and what is allowed to belong to God. It's absolutely true that of necessity we need to use different language. The language that you and I might use to describe physics would include equations and particular technical words that would have meaning for us but maybe not for a, a different kind of person without that particular specialist knowledge. Um, just because they are different kinds of truth doesn't mean they aren't equally important areas of human knowledge and human learning. Of course there's the the illustration that if you deal with, if you say you want to understand everything about trains, for example, um, you might want a book on thermodynamics or on engineering to help you understand how it is that the train can work. That's fine, and those laws of physics and laws of engineering that pertain to how does the train work, they are very important areas of truth for how can we make the train work so we can get from A to B. But a different kind of truth, in principle at least, is the railway timetable. Yeah. When the train leaves from this platform, when it gets to a platform in another city, yeah. they're completely distinct. Yeah. It doesn't help you when you want to catch a train if you understand the thermodynamics of how a steam engine works. And you've got, you have a book on thermodynamics as well, don't you? <laughs> I do, so I, I do. No matter how much I learn from it, I won't understand the train timetables. I'm sorry to say you won't. <laughs> <laughs>